Hi everyone, this is Andrea Smith, here to talk to you a little bit about stress versus anxiety. So how do you tell uh, stress versus anxiety apart? Stress and anxiety are just a natural fight or flight response to stress that you feel or your body's uh, reaction to danger. Now, the purpose of this response is that you can be alert, you can be focused, and you feel ready to deal with any threat or any danger that's occurring. So both stress and anxiety are normal, but sometimes it can overwhelm you. So you can feel as if it's overpowering you, it's overtaking you, and you don't know what to do about it. So stress sometimes can be only short term and you can manage it. But anxiety, sometimes you feel as if you don't know what the cause of the anxiety is, and it can be just unknown to you and you don't know what to do about it at the moment. So, like I said before, it's a natural. So Maggie came to me and she felt this overwhelming sensation and she didn't know what it was. She knew she was a bit stressed, but she just didn't understand what was happening to her. So when she understood that stress and anxiety are a natural response to danger, and when she felt under threat due to some reason or the other and she couldn't figure out what that was, it re releases the stress hormone. So that was really great for her to understand and be aware of what was happening in her body. Also, she started to understand that her heart started to beat faster, her, her blood pressure rose, she got very breathless, she wanted to run away and hide and not deal with the stress. Now, at some point, she felt that she was becoming sharper and she was recognizing too many things around her. And because her body was releasing nutrients to all parts of her body, and that was fine. But when it started to overwhelm her, she found that her body was reacting to too much stress and then it became anxiety. So anxiety is a body's response to that stress. Once she understood that, she was able to really get her head around what she needed to do. So this process can happen really quickly. And when you understand and recognize there's some unease in yourself and you dread this event that's triggering your anxiety and your stress, it makes you just really stay too alert, too aware. And that means that you can't relax, you can't just chill. And that makes it really hard for you because you just get really, really tired. So how do you tell them apart? Um, because they have similar symptoms. So it is sometimes really difficult to tell them apart. But what you can do is try some breathing exercises. You know, there's lots and lots of stuff I have got on my website or in what I teach, but you can also focus on the word that's smooth and calm and use a trigger word to calm you down. You can visualize a beautiful holiday that you had in the past of a beautiful scenery and then calm yourself down. You can practice either yoga or meditation, which is brilliant, mindfulness by slowly also calming yourself down is huge because you can really use that to bring your body down to relax and calm. Now I'm going to end this video with some key tips that I would like to give each and every one of you. So accept that you feel stressed and, and this is leading on to you to become anxious and you can't control everything. So, you know, you're aware that you are and you're accepting that. Settle for the best rather than perfection. So settle for something that you can manage rather than being perfect about it. Learn what your triggers are. Learn what's really affecting you, really bothering you. And then try and limit any caffeine on any, you know, caffeinated drinks. Try to have well-balanced meals, exercise you know, regularly and try and get enough sleep at night. So thank you for watching me today. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment box.
Bye for now.